That's it. I'm out of here. Please, don't geo -oo. Huh? Who is this? I and you eat your parts. Uh, right, but so do I. You know, this is a junkyard. Why not look for spares that aren't attached to people? Computing request. Request accepted. I www will lo ff for spares that are not attached from PPP people. Nice. The signal's coming from near the jump gate. Maybe that bot knows what happened to the gate's key module. Welcome to Charybdis Recycling Plant where your garbage is our future. How may I help you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm looking for a jump gate module that can generate new jump keys. Computing request. Only head management at HQ can generate and activate new key codes. If you are an employee of Grady and Brunt, please direct all code requests to HQ. HQ? It's not even in this system. You're saying that everyone who isn't part of the company cannot leave CETO? Exempt our colonial military off. Off, off, off. Turning off all systems. Wait, what about the military? Colonial officials may use their military override to access jumping facilities. A military override, huh? Pyrus. I need P-A-R. Thank you for having visited Charybdis Recycling Plant. Where your garbage is our few oo oo oh. Poor guy. But time to head back to Dax. Jump keys? Yeah, one good, one bad. Just throw them together in one line. I know how to get through the gate, but we will need a military override. An override? Like at a hive unit? Wait, what? We need a hive? That's what you just told me. You don't happen to know where to find one, do you? No. Don't. I'm not 
sure I trust the sound of those pauses. Looks like there's only one place where we will most definitely find one, but it won't be easy. That pause is on you now. Your friend just emerged from cryo. Ben, he's awake? No, the other one. Get your ass back here. Take him out. said you were killed. I'm just passing through. Don't tell anyone that you saw me, okay? Sure. Uh, how's Ben? Did he make it? He's alive. Oh, thanks, Soul. Look, I am so sorry for leaving you guys behind. It was crazy out there. We all... you know. You were just trying to save your own skin. I get that. So, how have things been? Bad. Callahan and his whole squad have been reassigned to the Zarkov system. There are barely any combat ships left, so they've started sending out teams unguarded. What? That's insane. Tell me about it. Management is becoming more ruthless by the day, no matter the cost. Yordano and his team left for the deep fields, with him as the only wingman. Yordano? Never flew with him. He's one of the good guys, right? He's the last one who's looking out for us. You know... They put me in charge of budgeting teams. If you were to assist Yordanu, I might even be able to do something off the books. 400 credits for every miner you bring back alive. Transferred directly to your ship. When did they leave? Not long ago. Their first stop is not far from here. All right, I'll see if I can catch up with them. I'd really appreciate it.
encounter this too often.
What is it? Dax? Hold on tight. I'm on my way. Darts. Your lab here is everything. So you hijacked my transport and brought me here. Not much I can figure out. You left me unattended, so you're obviously not that smart. He's fine. He'll just have a bit of a headache when he wakes up. Firstly, I'm going to give you this local muscle relaxant so you can move your jaw. Then I want you to talk. If you don't give me satisfactory answers, I will use this syringe, which will put you to sleep indefinitely. Blink if you understand. Okay, so where the hell am I? CETO system, DMZ. God damn it. So those bastards really did send me to the DMZ. This is all I need. So you're outlaws? Not quite. Free agents. How many more of you? Just the three of us. Yeah, I saw the poor guy in the next room. Rating medical convoy something you do often? First time. The hell? Welcome back. Are you going to cause trouble? Your companion here has been filling me in on a few details. You know, you should never hijack a lady without her consent. Your unintended cargo. We were only after the meds. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what meds alone will do to help your friend in the cryo. Those are third and fourth degree burns. He'll need operating on. You weren't planning on doing it yourselves, were you? We're just doing what we think is right. Well, I'm a medic first and foremost, so I'm offering to save your friend. If. If you can get me back out of the DMZ afterwards, this is not where I need to be. Look. We'll bring you back to GMB. Apologies and all. No thanks. G and B are in my bad books now. Perhaps I should have read the small print in the contract. I had no idea I'd end up in the DMZ. Okay. Yeah, we can come to an arrangement. No small print. Okay then. Well, you two can scrape yourselves off the floor while I get to work. And no funny business, okay? I have to admit, I like her style. I'm Delia, by the way. Dr. Delia Wendo. Call me Dex, and that's Adam. So, which one of you brought me into this mess? That was me. That puts you in the pilot seat when I fly back out. Don't worry. You and I have the same goal here. But first, we need to find a military override to get past the jump gate. You got a plan for that? Actually, we might. Adam, have you ever heard of the Cedo Ghost Fleet? Can't say that I have. It's a graveyard of old war wrecks, hidden by those blood star idiots. It's a treasure trove of scrapped military tech. Bunker casings, cruiser engines. Hive units? Exactly. Problem is, it's hidden by distractor tech, so no one ever found it. So, more bean bags? Nah, that's not outlaw style. They're more like fortified bases. That'll make them easier to find, but a hell of a lot tougher to take down. Where do I start looking? In the deep fields, I already uploaded some cords to your map. Once all the three bases are down, the Ghost Fleet will make its grand entrance and present us with our ticket out of Cedo. Well, I'm glad you two got it all figured out. I'll gather some data on my patient, while you free agents get busy raiding bases. 
We're really not outlaws. And I really don't care. We're good. As long as you uphold your end of the bargain. The markers show all bases I detected within the deep fields. A few may be duds, but I'm certain at least one of them is a beanbag hiding... fleet. Once you've found it and taken it down, I'll use a little trick to pinpoint the others. You really think we can trust her? Elia? Well, she had the upper hand and didn't play it. As long as we don't provoke her, I'd say we're safe. That includes not revealing to her that you're a clone. I know by now, you're just a regular dude and all, but there's a lot of resentment against clones in the colonies. You don't have to remind me. Not even Ben knows. Better keep it that way. I should look out for? If it's a beanie, it should have some dome-like structure attached to it. But even then, you'll need to blow the whole thing up to be certain. It's an outlaw base, all right, but I'll see a dome. Must be one of the duds.
moments with a prize.
looks like a base.
They're on to me. source to the other two locations. One's here, and the third... Damn, this is not good. Can't find it or too dangerous? Let's just say it calls for more advanced planning. I'll focus on the next one for now and then meet you back in the hangar. We can figure it out from there. Good call. See you at base. You made it back. It's dangerous out there. Yeah, I know that. Thanks.
And I thought I was all alone out here. Sorry for disturbing. No, no, it's fine. Stay. situation here.
you on that third distractor? Dax? Hey, Dax went down to the hangar. He said he needed to prepare for something. Say, was your friend close to any Ethium when he was injured? Yeah, we were out mining for G&B when his engine caught fire. Why? He got what we call a crystal burn. It's caused by destabilized Ethium and inflicts serious progressive damage to human tissue. The only way to stop it from spreading is to amputate. Oh, man. I'll use some cyber prosthetics from the medical transport. The procedure will take a few hours. You never deserved any of this. Please be careful. Don't worry. That's what I'm trained for.